Art is often a relaxing hobby that can be somewhat therapeutic for people, but its work in York with people suffering from Parkinson's shows its far-ranging benefits as the community hub brings together those with the illness so they can bond over shared memories and create some art. It's now on display in the city, and teacher Izzy spoke of how it came about and its importance. Right, I run the Parkinson's art class, uh, supported by the York branch of Parkinson's UK, and we run it in Wigington Recreation Hall. And this is for people who all have Parkinson's, people living with Parkinson's. Ordinary men and women who just come along to these therapeutic classes to help them in their Parkinson's. And it's just one of those activities that really gets their creative juices flowing. And this exhibition is the very first we've had. And as you can see, they have done brilliantly. We've only been meeting for a few months, but well, since May, and the body of work really speaks for itself. Well, I think any therapeutic activity that involves the mind and the body in whatever way, whether it's through art and doing something creative with a mixture of media, or whether it's um, Parkinson's dance, which again is a brilliant therapeutic activity which we run in York, keep fit, Pilates, Tai Chi, even socialising. It's things that help to reduce isolation and, and loneliness and just help people to socialise and also use their mind and their body, which is very, um, very good for people with, with Parkinson's. And some of the members were on hand to speak about what it's like for them to have their work on show. Very therapeutic very enjoyable, very sociable, and tea and biscuits is nice. <laughs> I love coming to the classes. It, um, I was actually going to join a choir or try to find a choir but um, through the main Parkinson group, but um, there wasn't one available. But Izzy stood up at one of the meetings and said she was having an art class, and, and we decided to sign up for it, and it's just been wonderful. I, I really enjoy them and it's possible just to get totally absorbed in the painting when we're working together. It's also, I've made lots of new friends, people you know, we'd never met before, so, and now we can share problems and share what it's like to have Parkinson's. Others in the group echoed their thoughts and explained how nice it is to meet people with similar issues to help each other where possible. We're sitting around have chatting, having a cup of tea, sharing our um, problems, which a lot of people that haven't got Parkinson's don't realise just what, what it's all about. And uh, uh, yeah, we, I think it does us all a, a, a great, we enjoy it, yes. It's very enjoyable. It's, in a way, we're recovering skills that probably we've forgotten about. And uh, Izzy is very encouraging. She you know, keeps us going even when we think we're not doing anything very exciting. And the way the pictures have come out all framed is absolutely brilliant. I find them completely absorbing. Their afternoon just fla flashes past. Them. Everybody gets so involved in what they're doing. Mm. It's really amazing. The hub set up by Izzy is doing wonders to people in the community who are suffering and it's clear to see how proud they are to have their work on display in the city. Art clearly does have far-reaching benefits. Rewards, that's TV.